How you doing, man? I'm good. Uh, it's okay, buddy. He's beautiful Let colors. Lick your hands. He won't bite you. Show up under his chair. He's hungry. He's hungry. He's nervous. True, true. He has not ate. We've just been reunited. Last time we met, we, yeah. it wasn't the best. He encounter. actually munched on my finger. Oh, mistake my finger for food. Okay. okay. I remember Can you. I, wait, he munched on your finger? He, you yeah, said? he was the pretty one. Oh, the, the stripes. Yeah. yeah, I remember you, buddy. Wow. wow. I do remember this one. Yeah, pet. Yeah. Whoa. See, um, I see him on the table at the flea markets when I go. So many people walk by all the time. And he and just stays there. He just walk up and pet him. It could be that he remembers you. It's it very, very possible he remembers you. He's, He's just up and down me. He's yeah. like looking at me. You called him with a catch pole, correct? Yep. So he may remember That's you. That's probably a very traumatic experience uh, in his life. It's probably only happened like once. And look at him. I know, buddy. I remember you and you remember me. But it's okay. Because now you are a puppy dog. You are no longer an iguana. But guys, anyways, this is my friend Lee I was talking to you guys about. Last time we met, it was about like two, three years ago. We caught this iguana together. Ever since then, guys, he has been working diligently, day in, day out, working with this animal. And he's got it pretty trained for the most part where the iguana is not trying to bite. Now, obviously, the iguana still has bad taste in his mouth because last time we met, I taught him a super fat lesson and I bagged him. <laughs> it's, the... it's either he remembered you or it's just the fact that you come around the corner and was approaching him that spooked him. True, true. Maybe he thought I was a, a predator and I was preying on him or something. Mm -hmm. And he was gonna, about to get ambushed, which what is what happened when we first met, too. I did ambush him as a predator. Mm -hmm. The legs out parallel like this. It's what I did when I, uh, he was, uh, I would put him up on a chair like a stack of pillows or a towel. Mm -hmm. I okay. kept my hands off his body. When you put your hands around the body, you know they freak out, yeah. right? So instead of grabbing him by his body, all I did was grab a hold of the dewlap, and use my other finger, get his mouth open enough so I could slip that turnip green in there. Oop, Sometimes oop. he pulls away. It's okay. It's okay, there he is, there he is. Feels like putting a dollar bill in the coin machine. There you go. Look, <laughs> goodness, look how he's just eating that whole thing like that. He just needed a little motivation, that's all. Yeah, I don't blame him, he's nervous. I mean, he's seeing me, he's on top of Ninja. So I think that's really good. Especially for him having PTSD or whatever. But you see, guys, what you got to do is, like, if you have a traumatic experience, you got to leave that in the past and you got to move forward, y'all. And that's exactly what this iguana is doing right here. This iguana, I was about to turn him into some curry, y'all. But our friend Lee right here, he took him. And as you guys can see, he's turned him into basically a pet. He's sitting on Ninja's shoulder. He's eating turnip greens, guys. And it just goes to show that with the right amount of patience and knowledge and, and love and care guys anything is possible to tame iguanas yeah. the great tom crutchfield told me an interesting quote you will know the animal is tame when no longer you're afraid of him or he's afraid of you and i think right here you definitely accomplished that dude good yes. job man and another thing <clears throat> yeah tom crutchfield had mentioned uh two and a half foot or high anything above two and a half foot the iguana will die in captivity. Yeah. Gentlemen, anything is possible, guys. Look at that right there. He's eating them strawberries right off Ninja's back. <laughs> Let me get a turnip green. Yep. Okay. All right. If you could help me open it, I'm going to throw index it. index finger, too, for the upper jaw. I'm putting my index finger nowhere near there. See what we're doing? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. It's possible. Anything is possible, guys. If this wild caught iguana can be tamed where for the most part he's like a puppy dog he still right, remembers me obviously anything is possible right, guys boy. anything is possible come here buddy i know i do not blame you for being upset there he is i know it's okay let's make a truce all right there he is guys he just ate it right there guys wait hold on <laughs> he wants to eat it i don't know why he's not just eating it whoa 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 so this, so when you're riding around the car, this thing just sits in the front seat and you put the seatbelt on He stayed at the rear glass the whole trip. He and slipped. He, right he wears a seatbelt and everything, just like a normal kid, guys. This is insane. So on the road trip, he's just sitting. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, like a dog. He just sits right by the window. He's just looking. And uh, He was in the uh, rear glass. 
laying down on a quilt. You just eat it, buddy. I know, you're a big baby. All right, guys, well, you know what? I, I don't know what to say. I think that's absolutely insane what our friend did. That's amazing. And like I said, that just goes to show that anything is possible. Do I recommend you go out, catch a, a, a six-foot iguana and try to make it your pet? Absolutely not. But if you have the time, if you have the passion, if you know about these animals and you are willing to sacrifice everything to get him under control, it takes time. I'd say, you know, uh, do whatever you want. Leo is nice running back into you. Buster, pleasure, bro. I know, man. Nice running back into you, too. He does. He's still, like I said, guys, some things will never change. Maybe he'll never forgive me. It's okay. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you were Buster, would you forgive me now that things have changed? Or would you still hold a grudge? Eh. Like I said, some things might never change. So any future sales is strictly prohibited. This guy was captured the wild about two years ago. And if you have an iguana, you must uh, get a permit and you must register it. Some people are even saying that you might have to micro trip it, which, uh, you know, just to track your iguana. They need to know about all the pets you have. Um, like I said, guys, any sales of live iguanas for pets prohibited. This guy was wild caught. As you guys can see, he's cool right now. I just want to give you guys that update right there. Very cool, very cool. All right, Buster. See if he'll lick you. Climb down your back. He does that a lot. He thinks, his, he thinks my back is a tree trunk. He's, he's wanting to find a tree. He so, guys, the, the enclosure that Buster lives in, guys, is really big, guys. It's about 15 feet long. It's about 8 feet high, and it's about 10 feet wide, guys. Pretty big enclosure these animals need. Remember, iguanas can get up to 6 feet in the wild. So, you have to have the, the adequate amount of space for this animal to feel comfortable. If the space is too small, he's gonna feel like he's trapped in a cage. He's gonna feel like he's trapped. He's not gonna get tamed. He's not gonna trust you. And eventually he's gonna die. So, bro, I say uh, good job, man. Thank you. Thank Buster, you. pleasure seeing you again. Lee, pleasure seeing you again. Guys, drop some comments down below. What do you guys think about this phenomenon? Uh, do you think Lee did a good job? And, um, you know, do you think wild iguanas can be tamed into pets? This is one example, but do you think more of it can be, uh, do you think more of it can happen? And if so, should we start taming wild iguanas and maybe putting them in the pet stores out of state? Not here though. We're out y'all, it's the Iguana Man. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Like, comment, and hit the red subscribe button. If you're new, the Iguana Man signing out. Lee, Buster, later bud. We gotta go guys, peace.